Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark made the disclosure during Monday's news conference at Jamaica House. The government has been finalizing payouts under its $10 billion COVID allocation of resources for employees care program. Now, Dr. Clark says roughly 380,000 persons have been verified as eligible for a grant. However, of this number, 150,000 applied to be paid by remittance companies and the rest by direct bank deposits. The finance minister explained that a common problem will prevent more than half of those who chose to be paid via banks to receive the payout at this time. We have had, however, with respect to the bank accounts submitted, a large number of bank accounts that have been unable to be verified as uh, actual bank accounts in the name of the applicant. And that uh, challenge with the bank accounts is over 50%. As just to remind applicants that the bank accounts uh, that are submitted with an application for a compassionate grant has to be in the name of the applicant of the compassionate grant. Dr. Clark shared some of the specific challenges. There are many instances where persons have submitted a bank account in their parents' names, in their grandparents' names, or in their child's name, or in their uncle or their aunt. Uh, for uh, purposes, money laundering and KYC purposes, the government cannot transfer money to applicant John Brown to the bank account of Wayne uh, Smith. The name on the bank account has to be the same as the name on the application. He further explained the work that will have to be done to fix the problem so that the applicants can be paid. The process begins this week. Now the good news is that you, anyone in that category will be notified by text message this week. And a message will say that the bank account you submitted is not a verified bank account. You will have the opportunity to go on the online platform at www.wecare.gov.jm and click on the check the application status and you'll have the opportunity once you do that to update your financial institution information. At that point, you can either re-enter a bank account in the name of the applicant or you can elect to have the payment be directed to a remittance company of your choice. Oshade Masters, Frontline News.